But at See, this I don't point, believe in evolution. I don't believe we came from monkeys. Well, well evolution doesn't even say that. Evolution well, never said that we came from monkeys. Evolution just says that things evolve through that, nature. I think that's very true. I think, okay. I think we evolved. That's all I, I think, you know. It never said no. Uh, that's but, but the whole we came from apes and stuff. To, to, to me, but like, nobody actually ridiculous. says that. Okay, Pro Magnum okay. in evolution, that's never actually said. Monkeys evolved. That species evolved, and humans evolved. Two separate species. Right. That's what evolution. Okay, says. okay. It's okay a, you okay, know what I'm saying? That. I'm just saying. It's like people are like, we're not monkeys. That's like people saying age came from a monkey. That's not true. That's not what people said. <laughs> you're mis. <laughs> you're mis. <laughs> it's like, bro, like you're misquoting the. <laughs> Get, you know, like, get I all of you, dude. Right, that's like, awesome, dude. Because like, I heard it the other day. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I, like, people say that shit. It's like, it's, it surprises me how how much we're moving forward in technology. And now, like, monkeypox is like, hey, there we are, fucking monkeys again. Now we got fucking monkeypox. I'm like, who the fuck is sitting around trying to be like, how am I going to get that monkey to fuck me? You know, like, I got all these fucking bananas, and I'm just like, how's your thorn? <laughs> Out. I mean, well, I mean, like, hey, how fucking boring is your fucking life? Like, you know, like, how does that even happen in a physical sense? I feel like that monkey would kick your ass. Oh bro. yeah, a freaking, you know a freaking, a like, freaking, I can, I can believe a fucking sheep. Sheep. chips are fucking mean, man. They'd beat yeah. the shit out of you. You know, but it's just like that game of telephone. Like, you get one sheep, all of a sudden you're fucking monkeys and creating AIDS and fucking stupid. Come on, like, don't even. Say like that is our because once you like say I don't believe in evolution because we don't f monkeys, you know, then it makes me go, okay, well, you know, you're not looking at both sides of the thing, but like, you know, I'm up for hearing all because I, I do believe my dad told me this one thing and and and, and uh, and these are these things, all things are true, inception cr creates all truth. Someone once told create, me that the other day, I guess all things did. are true because all things that are alive or, or are born into something they come from something right. so there is a some truth in everything no it's eric, eric baker was it bro like i was telling you yesterday i was like they're like there's no way the world was made in seven days unless it was an alien race who terraformed it you know in that sense and then and they that had creates, the technology and then all of a sudden this bible makes a little bit more sense you know you know like okay he was 864 years old making a boat cool you know like that guy, well, you know. I mean, he probably was, but the, but the timeline doesn't different. make sense. But, well, the atmosphere was different. Why was the why was uh, why was Jesus only written about or by three hundred years after this guy's dis, you know disappearance on Earth? I, there's a lot of holes in that story, but I do believe in the most important part of the Bible, <laughs> which is universal to all books of religion, and it's just like, hey man, don't be a dick to your parents. Try to be a good fucking person. But if you commit to somebody, don't. You know what I'm saying? This is common sense. Don't be a piece of shit. It's going to be my Bible by Hugo. I have okay. my own little cult. There's five people in a... Love people. It, it, it just, man, just, man, just don't be an asshole, bro. Like, give more than you take, you know? Right. Balance, bro. Like, the force... Jedi's exactly bro. Dude. Like you can live your life based on Star Wars is you know the Force. It's just like bro, be one with people. Give more. You know, you know. Follow. If you don't, if you come to a, a, a fork on the road where there's two choices you have to make, pick the hardest one to do because that's generally the one you need to go right. And it's about love it. it's about what you do when nobody's looking. Who are you? You know, people are like, look, I give charity and I take pictures with them. I know. You know, it's like, yo, bro, if you really want to help those people, you wouldn't humiliate them by saying, look at how great I am. Let me take it as a thing. And that's funny because I don't, in, celebrities in, in, do that all the time. I'm just like, man, and the Gnostics, that's what, I, that's what I read about about Jesus, you know. And, you know like, he, said, he said, don't give to the poor and don't, don't pray for the poor no. because, hey, man, you're going to act like you're going to go bragging about how you do it. And that completely well, defeats the whole part, the point thing. of it. And, and people, that's, pseudo humility okay? well, exactly because the problem is you know first of all everything's got a price but like dignity is an important thing to me you know so to me you would have to kill me before i have to beg somebody for a dollar i'll die of hunger but but the thing is there's a lot of people uh out there uh in this machine you know because money is god to most humans yeah. out there it isn't to me. I don't love money. It never loved me back. But, um, but to me, it's just like, bro. If there's a catalog of all that you've done in your life, there'll also be a catalog of maybe nobody will ever know about it. But 
of that thing that you did that day and or you do that day that nobody knows because you decided that you are that person and for no other reason than that. That is, to me, <laughs> what defines you, you know? Who the me fuck too, is? I think so too. Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? People, especially being famous in, in a sense, is like people have this sauna. I am who I am all the time. If you do not have the capacity of understanding the difference between my satire and my true <laughs> actions as a person, then that seems like your personal problem. I'm only... I always wanted to ask you, man, how 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 is it like when you go into Walmart and somebody recognizes you? I mean, Bro, I like to me, a lot. this is what happens. <laughs> First of all, I think that they're scoping me out because it... You know, I either look like the guy who's in a band or the homeless guy that's like outside <laughs> the bush. <laughs> so like, I'm like, is that guy? I'm wondering if I'm shoplifting or not. <laughs> you know, right? Because I'm like, because I'm gonna put these things back if I'm. <laughs> well, I know. Do, do, do you still get stopped a lot in restaurants and stuff? Uh, Sometimes, stuff? mostly that I notice the uh, the things, and I, and when I see them like checking me out, I'll be like, it's okay for you to come up here. You know, right? It's cool, but I, I'm flattered by that. But it, it it's not what I feed on. But I, but I do want to be that person who, like, yo, I can take time to acknowledge and thank this person who pays my rent, even Let's, if it's just a little sliver of it. I have to tell you. Yeah. Because me and Tiffany. That's the only, that's the only reward you Me get. and Tiffany is over at the, the coffee shop over here last week, and we're with an artist of mine. And I look over, and Tommy Emanuel is standing there. You know, he's sitting there talking to some people. I don't, I don't know who that is, but I don't know he's who that the, is. He's like the most world-famous flamingo guitar player, you know. Right. And not many people I thought do. Paco Lucia was the most famous. This or guy, look up Tom, Tommy Emanuel. You're going to be like, oh, <laughs> shit. I'm going to put Paco against Tommy <laughs> today on a battle. Well, I kept staring over at him. She's like, that stops staring. So finally. Went over and said, "Hey, um, I just want to thank you for freaking kicking so much yeah. ass for the human race because we we all enjoy." Because I remember, it's amazing what music, how, how powerful music is. People don't even grasp how powerful it is. I think sound in general, it's, it's the most amazing thing. Like the at the end of every show, I always I always like to put a toast out to music, not to people, not to anything, because it's such an example of the good things that humans can make what? and how. This non-synthetic, like non-drug, is the most important. It's, I would say it's the top five most important things to all people, right? Right, and, and, and more important than television, I would say. And it, I would say that that it's a, a. If you could have television or you could have music, one or the other, what would you pick? Oh, I'd pick music any day. If you were but... blind or you didn't hear, it, I would rather hear. It, right? To me, it's like yep. music. To me, music is like, man, this is how I write songs. Okay. First of all, I write the story. I think I know what the story about is. Okay, this is okay. the story I'm telling. Okay, right. and then I, it, how literal I'm going to be in that story kind of plays on. But then the music behind it is like the soundtrack of a movie. So, like if you ever watch a movie and there's the dialogue happening and there's no soundtrack, the music is kind of like a setup for it. You to subconsciously know what you're supposed to, what feel to create the mood. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's such a beautiful fucking thing. But when you can sync those in a way that that will make you like shed a tear or or smile or just relive, man, that is if that isn't power, I don't if that isn't the most amazing And I think that's why I've And I never did it for that gift because I was only aware of that made aware of how really it is. You know, because you started out super young. Yeah, but you know, I was young and you don't get wisdom. You know, it doesn't right. get that cachet is earned over over time. Right. Yeah, but but I am so proud to be the soundtrack of many people's lives. I like, and you are, and, and to right. me, more important than money ever will so, be, and it's definitely the, the driving force. As a writer, do you see yourself like evolving into this spectrum of evolution, evolving into someone who writes for a lot of other people and, and, and like doing like... I may have already written for a lot of people. I know you've written knows. for quite a few, but I'm saying though, like like we were talking about, you wrote a country song, and I know some degree how big of a joker you are, and some of those things are right. just you want to freaking... Bro, I bet, you, I bet you that if you put a little pinwheel here, and you spin that pinwheel, and it would land on any genre that I could write a song in that genre and that that song would not suck. And win. Yeah. So there's only many things I'm good at. And 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 I'm only good at because I love them and I love music. So I love the, you know, it's just, to me it's just like, this is what I do. I don't even know or have a memory of my life 
with me not being articulate in music. You know, right. my first memories of being a piano player, I was playing Xerne, which is like, you know, this. Right. That's you know, how I was too, man. So like, I was playing I was classical. Little, I was seven years old though yeah. when I started. I think you were. I, I don't remember that. consciousness without in a piano. And knowledge of a piano. So it was just, to me, just like sports figures, you know, you got to, if you start young, you know, what? because it's those freaking first 10 years. Okay. But I didn't know I was going to be a pro f for a long time. But I don't want to bounce too far because you know me, I can go me crazy. Too. And this is, we're going to have to edit this. Podcast this has really made me, it's funny because TJ was saying it earlier, how it's made me focus on stuff. But I want yeah, to ask you, do, do, do you, um, do you believe in reincarnation because you were a prodigy like I was as far as piano playing? I believe so I that, I I believe that people that. who have had past life experiences that I've met that are very serious people and very logical and very, these aren't like crocs, really believe that that is true. Now, that being said, I most people def define what the possibilities of everything are on a three-dimensional level, and I, and I do believe in trans-dimensional existence what? multiverses and and levels this way just because we can only see this spectrum of colors and live in this many things doesn't mean that there isn't a simultaneous thing that because it just doesn't mean logical that you die and then in a same timeline come up but maybe maybe there is i believe that there's got to be some basis of why people have you know there can't be like all why people have these memories of the, these lives. I met these two separate people in, in Massachusetts that remember their past lives and the older person and the younger person are, are flipped, meaning that the daughter is the mother and they remember each other. It's You're kidding me. I swear on everything. And they remembered everything. So they, they are so they now... Switched spots. They're, they're, you should check this out, bro. There, there's a lot of things... But they they connected, and they they now are share a life together again, and they search for each other. And there's there's many stories of this. I'm like, oh, I know Ohio State supposedly has the biggest library of that, bro. Like people search for each other and everything. And sometimes yep. when there's something missing, there's there's got to be some f***ing truth to you knowing because I don't believe in coincidence and I don't believe in the chaos theory. I believe that everything's by design and influences everything, you know? 